What do you want? Get out of here. It's for adults only. Hey guys, we got some vintage, vintage cars from the preacher boy whose father-in-law bought a house and these were in the house. You ready to dig into these? Now, I thought they were in better condition, but look what we got here. I have not looked in these things. They've been sitting in the supper club for a day. Oh, I'm so excited to get in here. Now, you know me, I don't care the condition. Where real collectors, they want a mint and perfect. These look gorgeous to me. You ready to get close up? Oh, remember, life doesn't start till after 316. Ah, oh, let's dig in. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. <laughs> the basement's for adults only. Oh, guys, these are vintage Tootsie and Tonka and maybe a Corgi in there and then a couple cases of cars. I have no idea what's in the cars, but let me tell you, these are totally cool. Now, the, the story behind this is the guy bought the house and these were left behind in the basement on a shelf. Ah, oh, leave it to no car guy that gets a... A treasure like these. Now, you know me, I love old vintage cars and I don't care what condition they're in. That's the cool thing about it. Now, look at this Tonka Fire Brigade truck. Oh my gosh, look at that. Your hose actually looks like it hooks up to this thing. And then this actually squirts water. <laughs> oh, now since these are not mine I'm not gonna chance it but let me tell you this thing is so so cool I don't know if I do these one at a time or show them all at once now look at these canisters for Tonka little fire extinguishers on the back now this is just pressed metal you got a plastic base on here You've got Tonka decals on the side. Now, these are a little dusty. You can see the dust across here, but I'm not really gonna dust it off. I don't wanna damage these whatsoever. But look at this, little ladder, removable, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. So they can go up to the fire <laughs> wherever and you got literally a working hose with a spigot here now you know me I like just the little cars and not the bigger ones but <laughs> this one let me tell you you've got even Tonka on the tires here do you see that come on the Tonka <laughs> oh windshield goes up and down you still got the little bulb on there whoever this guy was prior that he bought the house from look you got even a little Jeep insignia on it now for those that are doing remodeling and there's a decal you can literally recreate that if you're refurbishing one of these try and hold it still you take a screenshot and go into Photoshop or something now it looks like there's a tab here something missing off of that and again I don't know Tootsie toys that well or I mean Tonka I mean <laughs> Tootsie <laughs> I don't know Tonka that well to know what's missing off it now here's a little trailer hitch too so they could have pulled a trailer now there's not that much oh wait <laughs> look at this <laughs> I love these things these toy cars are crazy aren't they this is a great escape from reality so you pull this out the trailer hitch extends beyond you can hook your trailer on there and your tatanka can pull it away oh, 
I'm telling you, my son's friend, the preacher boy, he sent me a picture of this, and I'm like, <laughs> it's just a whole shelf of stuff. I'm going to try and find the picture, see if he can forward them, and I'll put them in the video so you can see them. But it's just a whole lineup of different Tonka toys that this gentleman had, and he passed away. His wife kept him there, talked to the church. The pastor ended up buying the house to help out the, the widow, and these were just left behind. And again, whoever collected them loved cars. He would have fit in here at the supper club, great. Look at that thing. <laughs> again, so simple. But back when they, these were back when they actually um, really thought through the designs and stuff, right? Now you guys might know more history behind this, but this baby's all original. I have no idea the date or the time because I did not want to really look at these close until we videoed them. I should have done some research and done all that, but I'm going to just kind of back that off and see what we got next. Now we got a Trixie special. You know how much she loves pink. And I'm just carefully trying to bring these out. Oh, <laughs> Trixie's going to love seeing this one. <laughs> and you know how much... I don't know if you know, but she wants a dog so bad, and it's a kennel truck. Look at this. Now, it, unfortunately, it's busted here, but who cares? <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this. Lifts up. Now, unfortunately, there's no dogs in here. Oh, look at this. You literally, you have a bulldog, miniature collie, poodle, Springer Spaniel, Terrier, Boxer. Oh, I don't even think kids nowadays would even know what the difference between dogs, but oh, very cool. What is on this side? Okay, glasses work for me. Scotty, right? Retriever, Greyhound. Police dog, Dachshund, and what is that last one? Eskimo Husky. <laughs> and not any Husky, an Eskimo Husky. Now this is a Ford. Looks like almost an A1. But look at that damage on there. That paint. But to me, that is gorgeous. I love that. And I know you restorers would freak out and be tearing this thing apart and repainting it. But I love it. It just shows character. It shows where this car's been. Now there's an N there. I wonder what that's for. Norbert. I bet it's Norbert. <laughs> so, again, here's these wheels. And it says New York Lint toys so this is not a tatanka it's a new york lint toy ford hubcaps on that oh i'm telling you this is really a whoa no the top fell off <laughs> that scared me <laughs> Oh, luckily, no damage besides the crack that was already there. <laughs> oh, that'll wake you up a little bit. So this is just a, a piece that fit on the top. No secret note, no penny in there, a dollar. Now this, I wonder, there's got to be a way to... It looks like it hinges up somehow, but I ain't gonna bust it. Like I already just busted that thing. Oh, look at trailer hitch. I wonder if there's a trailer in here somewhere. But just look at this. I mean, just vintage rust and P 
peel and paint just so cool look at that to me that is amazing oh look at this made in Rockford Illinois USA now that's where this guy's church is so the guy that collected this he might have worked at the factory that made this oh let's romanticize it <laughs> right oh this is cool I know this door opened somehow but I'm not quite sure some pull up and out but you can see there's a little hinge right there and a little uh, pivot on there on both sides it might be rusted shut just from sitting on the shelf for so long I don't see any locks but it almost looks like on that other side over there there's like a little divot that might hold it into place so you kind of have to force it through oh look at that thing and again it's a N-Y-L-I-N-T toys on the wheel there and white on white kills the guy you know that isn't that cool so this removes or it attaches in isn't that cool ah oh. and again to me this wear and tear I love it now I know you guys you restorers out there <laughs> That's okay, these are vintage, they're very cool. Oh, look at this one. This is a Buddy L. Let's, well, that's attached. <laughs> look at this, Buddy L on the tires. Buddy L Zoo. Oh, on an old pickup truck. <laughs> it is so much fun to see things now the cool thing about this now I don't know if these are original but you've got a little tiger in here and some zebras and antelopes oh look and, and here's how the cages open oh. <laughs> oh that is so cool got zebras and horses pigs and rhinos together and then on this side you've got elephants now again I have no idea without research if these are the original animals these look like just cheapy uh, dime store but maybe that's what was around back in the day when this was made you got the windows at half roll zero interior on it now when I turn this upside down all these gates are gonna open oh does that all lift out yeah it sure does so I'll hold it this time it says something there <laughs> I can't hold it all and get it maybe you guys can read it oh patent pending uh, oh patent applied for so simple tabs that hold it together oh this almost looks like it was a bank like there was a cork thing for a bank you know those little rubber stoppers now this one is rusty dusty <laughs> but again I'm not I'm not gonna dust these off because these decals are just really they could be really dry and fragile but this is literally how it stood on this on the shelf and uh, they put it in a box and got it to me <laughs> so what do you think of that one literally a little zoo carrier and again this sat in someone's basement for years and years collecting all that dust isn't that gorgeous ah oh. Buddy Owl Traveling Zoo. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know anything about Buddy Owl or 
or uh, the, these vehicles, but let me tell you, so much fun. Oh, look at this. Here's the pony farm. This looks like that NY Lint Toys. Yep, it's that same one as the pink one, but a different decal on it. NY Lint Pony Farm, and here's the ponies. Oh, and there's a there's a plastic penny in there. Tom Thumb Penny, not any penny. Does anyone remember a Tom Thumb Penny? Actually, it's a nickel. Play Money, five with a star on it. <laughs> so these horses look pretty well uh, carved. Right? Identical. Sometimes they have just, oh yeah, here's a slightly different one. These have long tails, and this is a. Uh, that chewed off, or no, that's tied in a knot. And I don't see any like markings, like manufacturers on it. So you've got the horse with the head up, and the horse with the head down. You got some little dusty musty in there, but that's okay. That's kind of fun of this. I'm going to take those horses out. Look at this. Again, this is a Ford. Now, I think it was Dodge A1. I don't know what Ford's equivalent was. But look at that thing. So much fun. Again, I don't know what this is, and it could probably wash off. I know, I know you're just dying super fan B that this has to be washed off it's killing you but I, we can't do it oh there we go this one opens pretty easily so I didn't really have to force it which is nice so again I don't know if that other one got a little wet or something oh <laughs> isn't that fun uh, I'm digging these things. These things are so cool, but they are big. Let me tell you, they are monstrous in size. But you guys know that Tonka and Buddy L and all that stuff, it was much bigger in the day. You need a big place. Maybe they had a big house to put all these things in. But like I said, this was a probably looked like a six foot shelf and maybe three shelves of these. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh, I know. It's the nerdy nerd time for the nerd guys who love cars and gals. Oh, now you're talking here. Look at this one. This is a New York Lint toy, too. Now, they were made in Rockford. Yep, see? So, I'm wondering if this guy actually worked for... The company that made these now I dig this one this one's really cool a little hot rod that's the kind that I like the interior look at all the dust in there and again this could probably clean up real easy but I'm not gonna do that because I just don't want to chance anything I know there's no sentimental value to the owner of these but again I I don't know what he's gonna do with them <laughs> look at that there was something in there. I wonder if it was one of those wind-up keys. <laughs> Look at that Ford on the wheel. Hubcap. That is just so much fun. Look at that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you for lending us these to the supper club. Preacher boy for getting these just even thinking of us. He came over the other day and it was a riot. We played Risk. We played, um, but the Preacher boy and I got nailed. <laughs> we got, we got knocked out pretty quick in the game. Which is, we usually do pretty good, right Preacher boy? But not this time. Now look at these little mini Tatankas. <laughs> Garbage truck. A dumper. 
Isn't that cool? Just so simple. Now this looks like a much newer version. Newer logo on there. Tatanka. But look how cool that is. I'm guessing this is early or mid 60s or late 60s because of these wheels. And then here's another Tatanka. Oh, little dumper on that truck. What do you think of these? <laughs> Tell me what you think of these. Did you, did you have these as a kid? I don't know. I had some of them, not exactly like this, but, oh man. Look at this. Struc Structo Hydraulic Dumper. Oh, usually they, oh, here's the lever. They'd have a lever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> locks into place. It looks like there were lights or something up here. The bed is a little damaged, but <laughs> please, nothing at all. Little scraping of the paint. Little rust there. Look how cool that is. Little lever and that just unclasps it. And it automatically does its thing with its hydraulic uh, piston there. Look at these dualies. Structo made in the USA. <coughs> Look at that. Look at the rust and wear and tear on these things. I love them. It's just so cool. I know some people like their trucks like just like they came off the showroom floor, but not me. <laughs> I like them where they show the wear and tear and the history of them being played with. And how you can tell these were rarely played with or played with by a Felix Unger, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. Just simple, very nice. This was out in the sandbox playing away, big dualies on the bottom. Now, did it say just made in the USA, which is cool. Now, Big Mama's looking for a pickup truck, probably about this size for, you know, typical Christmas tree and a, for a holiday decoration. Man, I could look at these trucks all day long. They are just such great memories. And that's what we're all about here, you know, just kind of reliving some of our toys. Just a little escape from the craziness of the day. Focus on something different for a little bit. <laughs> oh, look at the supper club's getting some dirt and dust. <laughs> Let me clean that up. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. Now, let's see what's in this box. Now, this one has a trailer. Look at that. Come on, every kid loved a car hauler, right? So there's a loose piece in here, and just one, so I'm not, not quite sure what that is. Oh, so this. hook on like this I'm guessing so you could drive up the ramp so it does have the ramp so that's cool Tatanka Mound Minnesota look at the dualies on this thing 
come on your first soup king size uh, matchbox hauler. Oh, the wheel is off, unfortunately. The wheel came out. And look, it, <laughs> it's stuck in, in place there on that seat. It's not even... So again, uh, a restorer could carefully pull this thing apart, get that wheel, and drop it right back into place. I'm guessing an easy fix, but I don't know. Look at the headlights, they're plastic. Got a little glare to them. They're diamond cut to make them sparkle in the light. Ah, this is so cool. Little rubber uh, bumpers on there. There's rubber baby buggy bumpers. So if you can say that 30 times fast, you win the prize, whatever that is. Oh, look at this. You've got, again, another little trailer hitch that you could put on under this look at that so let me take this off so we can take over. this is like two feet long <laughs> look at this Tonka such a vintage thing ah oh, so cool and again there's this pitting on the top here it could be dust or rust, I'm not quite sure. But either way, I love it. Just the way it is. Tonka on the tires. And look at the dualies on that. That is just sweet. Here's the base of it. There's no really writing on the bottom because they stamp it in the side and on the wheels and stuff and then here is your pivot and you've got look at the wear on that from some kid playing with it that is just so much fun then on the side you've got Tonka and then here's the lift lever to put down your your lift gate so the cars can drive on onto the top these are so, too big for the supper club. Look at that. So this simple, look at that. How much fun is that? And then little grooves so the tires stick into place. Oh, oh, that is a riot. Now I'm looking on the inside. There's no really grooves on the inside and there's no like a uh, place that this kind of locks into place, this piece. So, if I remember correctly, on the uh, display, they had these little Tonkas up here, but I know they're not the right size because the wheels don't line up. So I'm not quite sure what cars went with this, but I, this kind of style is almost like a 1950s. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, is that a riot? This is like the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. And again, it, literally, the guy buys a house, goes down in the basement. These are there and left there. And <laughs> I'm like, wouldn't that be sweet to be able to walk in, to have a car guy walk in and just really enjoy all these vintage cars? I would just leave them right where they were and probably add some more around it now there's holes here which I'm not quite sure what they are you've got a big huge Tonka across the front and again the only thing that's bad about this really is that steering wheel but again you can these are put together with tabs and they can be taken apart <laughs> isn't that fun oh holy smokes there's so many more things Look at this one. The trencher. <laughs> oh, now, come on. How many times were you playing in the sandbox with this type of thing? And look at this. This is, this is moving around somehow. So it digs down. You, you actually work it with this, this lever. And then the front works with this lever. And 
here's the bucket. So you pick it up with this. And then this one dumps it. <laughs> Is that a riot? Look at the gauges on it. Got little gauges on it. Now this one is totally missing the treads and I'm sure they do repops. Now look at this. Mound Minnesota, but that one has a gold base where the other one had a more yellow base. And so I'm kind of guessing this one's a little bit older than the other one. Now I'm this is also probably a shifter of some sort in this area, but again, I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> now remember, I found a John Deere one of these, just the just the the digger part. Look at that, and then it pivots around, and then you can dump it. Look at that trencher. The grill, real simple. Remember the one I found in the garbage <laughs> the other day I sent to Fireman Food? I'm guessing this one's a little bit older. Now that one was missing this. It did have the bucket that was damaged. But like I said, most people just throw these away. <laughs> they just like, I don't care, and throw it away. And so, Luckily, I was be able to save that one out of the garbage and uh, send it off to Fireman, and he's going to refurbish it and give it to his dad. So that's really cool that we got to save one. Oh, look at this little Tatanka. <laughs> Cement truck. And again, these are, these are much newer versions, but very sweet rolls now see this lighter gold on that it's that other one is like a deep gold and they it might be even a gold paint opposed to like a yellow mix on the paint but that that kind of tells you and they started putting the dunka on the bottom here is that sweet what do you guys think about these? Gals, cats, kittens, Elliot's, Maisie's? Oh, do you like this stuff? I'm telling you, this is so cool to me. Just so cool. That, it, it'd bring back smiles on anyone's faces. Look at this little Jeep. This is tiny. Does it fit on our... Oh, it almost fits on our carrier. Got a little hole in the base. Rivet, look at the rust on that. It's just showing the beauty of the age. Little patina and played with condition. This thing is gorgeous. <laughs> now that windshield, oh yeah, it does move. Like the old Rat Patrol, remember the Rat Patrol? Oh, this. I'm telling you, this is bringing joy to a lot of people. Thank you so much for uh, lending these to us. Look at the Jeep with the glass headlights and plastic. It kind of cuts to reflect the lights. So it looks like real lights. Look at the treads on there. Now there's nothing on these hubcaps, but Tatanka is on the wheel. See that? The other ones had white. And this is the Danka right on the wheels. Look at that thing. That is just... To have these displayed in your house, just how cool would that be? I don't care what kind of house you got. This, anyone walking in, they'd look at it and just get a big smile on their face. Unless they're cold hearted. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> the whole windshield busted out your pillars are busted out <laughs> oh but I love it look how cool that is that is just vintage fun 
Now I'm guessing Corgi. What do you think? Oh no! It's a dinky! Look at that! Ford GT? We all knew that. Dinky toys made in England. So much fun. Now, again, this this damage has been long gone. It's a right-hand drive, but having the bonnet and boot open up like that? Uh, what do you think, Saul? <laughs> Dinky toy, pretty cool. That hinge is just a little bit bent, so it's not sitting quite right. Oh, I love these things. <laughs> Uh, which is your favorite so far? Oh, we got a couple more big ones going here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah, another lint. Made in Rockford. Look at that hot rod. That's like old school hot rod. Look at that engine in there. I'm telling you, this is some of the coolest stuff I've seen in a long time. And just be able to show you guys. Now I know another guy just north of town. I saw him at the flea market. I know where he lives and he's he's a car dealer, a toy car dealer. He sells and all sorts of stuff. But he's a great generous guy. He gave me a whole mess of Johnny Lightning cars once to show you guys and, and I showed you them, told you about them and I returned, I'd say 99% of them. He's like, why'd you return them? You could have kept them. I'm like, dude, you are so kind. So. Um, I'm hoping to talk to him again and actually his collection he's got stuff that would just blow your mind stuff like this but like in mint condition and just rare stuff and he's got rare matchbox hot wheels red lines he's got uh, Lesney uh, gray wheels black wheels black walls I mean he's got it all look at that this is that, uh, it says something else here. Again, white on white is killing me. I'm trying to get it so that the lights catch the reflection just right, but it's like this funky NY New York line lint, but it's like a logo style. It's not just written out, typed out like the other tires. So look at that. Now this one says Made in USA. Do you see it? NY Lint Toys, Rockford, Illinois. And here's where your, your roll cage comes through. So I don't know if it actually got pushed down or that's where it is. <laughs> Those sticking out is going to catch on something when you go rolling by. Look at that. The wheels and tires on that, the little decals on the side. Oh, I don't know about you. I could look at these things all day long. So cool. I can't thank you enough for sharing these with us so we can see them. We'll get them back to you safe and sound. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Look at this. This is the car I want to get in real life. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, and this was so back in the day. Now, this one has the NY Lint toys. Let me see if I can get it in there. See it? Focus. Glare. But it also has... Uh... 8X 119.5 8 times 19.5 that's the tire size on this thing now it looks like this windshield comes down and maybe this piece comes off to make it a Roadster pickup Model A Roadster pickup which I just love hang on a sec I'm going to get some box art if I can dig it out of the case hang on
you know what this truck reminds me of is that big big model kit there's a model kit Ravel did I think I'm drawing a total blank on it but this is the model kit that I was thinking that is totally along this line that I've got this vintage model kit AMT with a motor in it uh, I'm telling you by Lindbergh And of course, it's not the actual Lindbergh line pickup in there, but it might be in there with all those pieces. Look at this. Oh, models are another thing that I'm going to be showing you, which is totally cool. But here's the bed for it, which looks like. Looks like there's pieces and parts in here, but I don't see a body or chassis. <laughs> so, oh well, the box is really cool. So anyways, I digress a little bit to show you some vintage Lindbergh line model kits that go with these vintage hot rods. Look at this thing. <laughs> Is that funny? I'm telling you, I'm betting that that top comes off. Maybe not. It looks pretty secure in there. I don't want to bust it. Oh, look at this base on it. Made in USA in Rockford, Illinois, upside down here. Oh, that is so cool that it's from Rockford, this guy's hometown, where his church is. If you're, man, if you ever need a good church <laughs> and you live in Rockford, Illinois, let me know. I'll send you over to this guy. You will really appreciate it. Look at that engine. That is. This is just amazing, isn't it? I know it's all nerd, nerd city, but then we got one more big tin toy. Look at this thing. Now I am not going to wind this up because it's some sort of spring system and I don't want to damage it whatsoever. Look at this. Marks tractor like lights and a tow hitch painted on there and all these things just sitting on a shelf look how that steering wheel is done just pressed metal together and then flat on the top with tabs coming through to hold it in place looks like this is your maker right here United States of America, New York. Made in the United States of America, New York on the bottom. You getting it? There it is. But again, little dust on it, showing a little wear and tear. You've got some, you can see the ribs on it. See those ribs? And I'm guessing that's just for support of the actual metal because it's it's such a long piece there ah oh, look how cool that is let me just show you over do a flyover hang on let me move this stuff around get rid of my tripod my umbilical cord stuck under this camera look at this is that sweet and again all these things just sitting on the shelf In the house he bought. Oh, now I got three more things. Let me rearrange this and I'll be right back. Hang out. Oh, look at all these lined up in front of the old supper club. <laughs> so much fun. This that Jeep with the fire hose in it hilarious I don't again I don't know if it works with the rubber but again some refurbisher could fin fix it and uh, I don't know if the rubber's dry rotted the pony farm you got tractors hot rods some made in Rockford Illinois which is really totally cool so the only thing we got left are three cases of cars now I have no idea what's in those cars but let's take a look hang on 
Oh, so we got three cases here. Now, we've got this case before, um, but I don't have this case full, uh, complete. I only have one side of it. Now, this one has a lot of mold or something on there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I know. <laughs> There's cars in here. Look at this. Veronica, but who is this? Isn't that, um, I'm drawing a total blank. Dagwood? Blondie? But look at this case. That is totally cool. 24 car collector case by Mattel. Fastest metal cars in the world. Hot Wheels. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. There's something in there. You can hear them kind of rattling around. Um, 1968 Mattel. On the trademark on that. Then we've got this case. And again, it's it's just kind of... Ooh, it's... St <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> oh just really filthy and it could be just because it was in the in the basement and again I have no idea what's in here 12 adjustable compartments with S and H green stamps on it 1968 Mattel and again whoever this was was a total car guy just like us loving cars ah and he collected these and then here's the one that's really interesting to me. Look at this. A Rumblers case. Now, I know my channel is called the Toy Car Case, and I try and collect as many different cases as possible. I've only seen this online, so this is the first time I've ever got to hold one in my hand. Super exciting for me. Again, this is really filthy dirty, and it could be just because it was sitting on the basement for the shelf for so long. This is 1970 Mattel. Got it. Come on. There we go. Made and printed in the U.S. Mattel, Hawthorne, California. Manufactured for Mattel. Made and printed in the U.S. All rights reserved under International and Pan American Convention. So, again, not, not knowing what, what's in here, I think I'm going to save these. I'll do one video on each one of these. So, it's killing me. I got to know what's in there. <laughs> it could be really fun stuff it could be china no name it could be matchbox it could be who knows <laughs> so come back and check out what we're going to show you next time oh i gotta take one more look look at this guys gals cats kittens elliot's mazies oh these are so so cool so exciting i can't wait to get into these to see what's in there who knows they might be jelly beans <laughs> they could be lincoln logs they could be marbles who knows what lies inside those cases but you'll have to come back i'm gonna do one case one video and we're gonna race them too whatever's in there it might be marble racing but we're racing <laughs> Oh, this is a blast, Tom. Memory lane, just so cool, so exciting. I hope that you guys enjoy these uh, NL Lint toys, Buddy Owls, and the Dunkas. Oh, and then we got Rumblers, and then two cases from 1968. Have no idea what's in there, <laughs> and it's killing me to not open it, but I gotta open it on camera. So this will be another day I gotta wait. Oh, but the wait will be good. Ha ha ha.
Oh, thanks, preacher man. Preacher boy, preacher man, you guys rock. If you guys need new churches to go to, let me know. I'll set you up with these guys. Both of them are pastoring churches in different towns, about 45 minutes to an hour apart in Illinois. Now, I want to hear some comments, what you think about these things, your thoughts and your processes and your stories of if you had them or if you know anything about these things, if they're missing anything. Uh, thanks again. These are so totally cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the supper club over here. Remember, life doesn't start till after 316. Oh, God is so good. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. Till next time. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.